Hi everyone, we are back on Fintech TV. I have the pleasure to have uh, Daniel Borderline from Hoka. We are going to integrate a new... Hey guys. Hi guys! Uh, a new uh, TV show in Fintech TV, uh, which is called Fintech Venturing. Uh, what's your next step, uh, Daniel, uh, since the last year that we, uh, we met? Yes, yeah, so our next step is sort of the same step that we started last year. I mean, we have a, we have a great legacy from, uh, from doing what we've been doing in the Nordics. And we're sort of waking up to the reality that what we've been saying is true in terms of mobile payment adoption um, has actually started to happen. So besides the, the sort of statistical outliers from the Nordics, where the Nordic countries are heavily uh, adopting mobile payments, just like Alipay in China, we predict that that's going to happen now all over Europe. Um, so what we're doing is that we're providing our technology, um, the mobile payments platform that we've built, which contains everything from KYC, AML, all the merchant solutions, all the processing. It's a white label. Yes, it's white label. So any bank that wants to launch their own Alipay tomorrow could deal with us. So, that, so that's what we're doing. So our roadmap is to bring that piece of technology out into the market through banks. So banks get it however they want it. Um, and we provide that as a service. And um, we're doing that now with Central and Eastern Europe. So we have a few very exciting announcements coming up. I can't really talk about them now because it's not, not, my, it's not my data okay. to share. Uh, the banks own this information because it's, at the end of the day, it's their service, it's their scheme that they're bringing to market. I'm just the vendor enabling it. Uh, but we are launching both in, in February and probably March, April, some new deployments, so that will be very interesting. Um, and uh, we're continuing then across Europe, because our expectation is that the dynamics from the Nordics and what we've seen with Alipay in China is going to happen all over Europe as a result of PSD2. So, uh, this is a double effect. Yeah, the first one is PSD2, and the second one is the new cover is going to come into the market. Yeah. And the market here is quite ready now, I think. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we're, we're trying to score the various markets based on our insights and from what we've learned uh, from the Nordics, being on the forefront of adoption of mobile payments. This might already be known for the viewers, but um, in the Nordics, we have almost 75% adoption in the whole population for the proprietary mobile payment solutions. So just like Holiday, we have Bit, we have Swish, we have Mobile Day. These are all bank-issued apps. You can see that Hoka is already a major. Yeah, so, so in your way, anyway. Uh, absolutely. So, so uh, we're, we're providing uh, those type of solutions as a white label solution to the banks. And as I said, I, I'm predicting that it's going to happen all across Europe. Uh, and as you mentioned, one of the key drivers is obviously PSD2. So the results of PSD2, as everyone interested in the subject knows, is that any licensed party, that would be a bank, could be a VC infused fintech startup with an e-money license and so forth, they're all going to fight to become the channel towards the customer, including Google and Facebook and others. So both Google and Facebook already have a Big European they can license. Have a Absolutely. So, I said, so it, it's, it's a, a full range of competitors, including banks, who needs to win the eyeballs of the customer. Right. What kind of venturing do you expect to achieve your, your roadmap? Yeah, so the way we're dealing with this today is that, I mean, we're quite a small team. You know, we're, we're, we're around 30 people. Uh, but one of the key benefits that we have is that we have both deployed the technology and built it on our own. And we've deployed it multiple times for banks already. So besides technology, we also have the, the operational experience for bringing it to market. Right, so we're not a theoretical fintech startup. We've been around since 2010 as a company and 2006 as an idea. So we've done it. So what we're trying to apply to the market is not only technology, but also the knowledge. And we're selling it ourselves currently. So we're, we're traveling the world. We're meeting with bank and bank executives. That's also why we're here today at the Paris Fintech Forum. Um, and, and we're trying to share the knowledge that we have. So we're not only selling a product, we're actually selling a piece of history that has happened elsewhere that others can copy. So currently we're selling it uh, on our own. Uh, and that's very challenging and very fun, but we've been doing it for multiple years and we've closed several bank deals now, so we're super happy with that. But we're also looking at uh, partnerships. So we, we see that in terms of scale, uh, because we operate out of Oslo, we're very deliberate about having talent in our company. We're, we haven't outsourced anything. Uh, 
Our everything whole, is self-built? Everything is built from the ground up by us. We don't have any license for third-party technology or anything. Everything is in-house for us. Right? So we own it, we control it, we develop it. Uh, and that's, that's a principal decision that we've made. We've discussed it multiple times if we should synthetically scale by, by adding technology resources you know, through outsourcing. But we believe that our success comes from the fact that we have a talent pool and we have deep knowledge about our field of, of expertise, and we want to keep it that way. So in terms of scaling towards our roadmap, how we would execute, is that we will look at partnerships as well. So we're developing joint venture models now to address markets that we can't address ourselves. That would Every be, kind of market? Absolutely, America, globally, globally. So, Asia, Africa? Absolutely. So we've already assessed the African markets. We've been down there and worked with potential clients. We see that there is a great opportunity in Africa, but we're not scaled to address that with people on the ground ourselves. So doing partnerships is, is key for our success to go into multiple markets. So the core team in Alka is focusing on Europe and we're dealing with banks here already and have deployments and uh, we will do partnership models either through joint venture setups or through vendor partnerships. So the core banking vendors uh, who already engage with the banks and are trusted technology partners of the banks are typically our potential partners. You see on Fintech TV there is also open innovation between Fintechs and with all kinds, it could be a good opportunity to do this. Oh, absolutely. I mean, um, not to brag, but I mean, uh, everyone has been talking about the fintech and bank partnership. We've been doing that. You know, we launched, we, we tried to sell our technology to banks uh, in the Nordics when, when we launched. We were way ahead of the market. Luckily, we had very good ownership and we had a, a, a persistent team that decided to stay with the company. And after we launched directly to consumers, we matured the market and the banks came around. So we shifted our model to, to, uh, to uh, deliver services to banks as a vendor. So we're one of the few good examples of fintech and bank partnerships that's been going on for several years, which is very profitable for, for, Great for everyone. Great achievement. Yeah, thank you. I mean, it felt very natural and now everyone is talking about it, but we actually did it uh, and it works very good. I mean, the banks need some more innovation power. We have innovation power. Fintech uh, needs distribution and access to the market. The banks typically have distribution and access to the market and some level of trust. So those two things fit perfectly together. And we're a prime example of that working very well. I mean, we're servicing banks as partners today, although we're now defining us more as a vendor. Okay, sure.